Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuestor.com. Today I'll be going over administering the developer dashboard in SharePoint 2010. The developer dashboard is a new feature that is designed to provide additional information, performance and tracing related information that can be used to debug and, trouble and troubleshoot issues with page rendering time. The dashboard is turned off by default. I'll show you today how we enable it uh, through management shell, through PowerShell. Uh, when the dashboard is turned on, you will find information about the controls, the queries, and the execution time that occurs as part of the page rendering process. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm just going to go to my SharePoint server and uh, launch uh, SharePoint 2010 management shell. This is the script we're going to execute. This is going to be executed in on mode, on demand mode. Uh, if you want to turn it off, you just change the on-demand to off. I'm going to grab this entire script, come back in here, edit, paste it. And now it's enabled. Let me go back to the site. And if I select under system account here, upper right-hand side, select this icon. Now this enables the developer dashboard. Notice we're now seeing information about the... Uh, HTTP handler events or HTT for HTTP requests, the web server related information, stats, asserts and critical events, if any, database queries, service calls, uh, uh, SharePoint request allocations, web part event offsets, etc. Uh, if you want to disable this, again, just go back to that exact same script and change the on demand to. Uh, off. This concludes this video. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.